Hello, good evening everyone, or good morning, depending on what time you are listening to this podcast right now. My name is Nelson and it is with the most humble heart that I greet everyone in the name of peace and prosperity. Welcome to my podcast and this is the first episode. Today, I am going to talk about gratitude. Gratitude as the most powerful form of prayer. Before we proceed, I would like to start by asking you a very simple question. How are you feeling right now? Are you thankful and happy for everything that you have? Or are you thinking about everything that's not right in your life? If you are like most people, then you are most likely thinking about uh, what you do not have, which in turn is making you unhappy and dissatisfied. However, since you are listening to this podcast, you obviously want to leave with more gratitude in your heart, right? I am here to help you and show you the way. But first, let's talk about What is gratitude? And why is it important in the first place? Simply put, gratitude is thankfulness. It is all about counting our blessings. No matter how sad and lonely you think your life has been, there is always something to be grateful for. A lot of them actually, if you just keen to details, every detail that is going on with your life. The moment that you wake up, you have a gift of life. The moment that you see birds chirping, the moment that you get to see wonderful and beautiful flowers around you, those are a gift. They bring you happiness is it something not to be happy about you know we are always blessed in some way or another also it is very easy to fall into the trap of looking at other people and why or what they have got from a distance you might think that they have everything you want you would wish you want to have in your life but do not forget that you are just looking at only a small part of the entire picture you also have no idea what their struggles and challenges are believe it or not no one's no one's life is perfect and almost every person in this planet is pinning after something they do not already have For instance, maybe you do not have as much money as you would like to have, but you have been blessed with a healthy body. Another person might have the kind of money that you would wish for, but they are aftering for a healthy body to fully enjoy life and they do not have that which you possess. You could only be looking at their wealth thinking that they have everything one can wish for. And quite ironically, that person might feel the same about you. Now, how to manifest your desires and great or attract more blessings through gratitude? I would like you to trust me on this one. You can have everything you want and much more. We are all children of the universe, infinite universe. There's nothing we can have. The problem is that most of us do not believe in our own magnificence. In order to manifest the life of your dreams, you have to first break the shackles of your mind by shaking off every limiting belief that's standing between you and your dreams. I know that this is not easy, but there's nothing that can't be achieved through grit and determination. You'll have to train your mind to think big. 
At first, this will seem like an impossible task, but every time you'll visualize that life of your dreams, your mind will present with all kinds of reason why it can't happen. It might say to you, there is no way that your dreams can come true as they have no link to your current reality. If you give up and let the doubts and negative thoughts win, then indeed, you will never achieve your goals. What you have to do at the point is to remind yourself that the law of attraction always works. I would like to repeat and emphasize, the law of attraction always works. It is not where you are that matters, but where you want to go that shapes your future. Also remember that emotions are your power. Thoughts become things, but only when you attach your emotions to those thoughts. If you believe a positive thing with emotions of happiness and gratitude, then your desires are bound to turn into reality. If you believe in something negative with strong emotions or fear and negativity, then your negative beliefs are just likely to turn into reality. And that is scary. In fact, the more strongly you feel negative emotions, the more likely they are to manifest. Therefore, every time your mind presents negative thought to you, ask yourself, is this really what I want? If not, then focus your mind on the opposite scenario. For instance, if your mind tells you that you will never meet your soulmate, then imagine as you already are you with your soulmate. What kind of positive emotions are you feeling? Allow yourself to feel the positive emotions and soon your soulmate will be by your side. You need to have gratitude in everyday life and you need to develop that as a form of habit. Gratitude is a powerful exer exercise for living your best life possible. You might already be blessed with a lot of things that other people can only dream, but if you are not thankful for them, then you can never achieve true fulfillment. And fulfillment never comes from pinning after more. It comes from feeling blessed and grateful for what you already have. There's nothing wrong with aspiring for more. In fact, you must dream big in order to manifest your full potential. However, the universe blesses us with more when we are grateful for everything we already have. I would highly encourage you to maintain a gratitude journal in which every morning and night you write down at least 10 things that you are grateful for. This might not be an easy exercise at first, but over time as it turns into a habit, you will develop that I like to call the gratitude mindset. Your life will not only become happier and more fulfilling, but you will also notice that you have become a magnet for attracting the very best to you. Now the question here is how to manifest your dreams. Well, the key to turning your dreams into reality is this. Do this with perseverance. Soon you will realize that you want is already yours. Here's a prayer for you. Dear Lord, thank you for the blessings you have bestowed on my life. You have provided me with more than I could ever have imagined. You have surrounded me with people who always look out for me. You have given me family and friends who bless me every day with kind of words and actions that I need in my life. 
they lift me up in ways that keep my eyes focused on you and make my spirit soar. Also, thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe. You protect me from those things that seem to haunt others. You help me make better choices, and you have provided me with advisors that help me with difficult decisions. You speak to me in so many ways so that I always know you are here. I am so grateful for keeping those around me safe and loved. I hope that you provide me with the ability and sense to show them every day how much they matter. I hope that you give me the ability to give to them the same kindness they have provided to me. I am just so grateful for all your blessings in my life, Lord. I pray that you remind me of just how lucky I am. More than just lucky, I am so blessed that you never allow me to forget to show my gratitude in prayer and return the kind act. Thank you, Lord, in your name. Amen. And that was the first episode of our podcast today. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any suggestions or comments on how and what would you like me to discuss on the next podcast episode, please feel free to send me a message. Thank you for listening and always remember, provide a positive experience in every interaction. Stay blessed and wonderful as you are.